on the blog again. Just can't wait to do a vlog again. The life I love is making vlogs for my friends. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Doing a vlog again. Going places that I've never been. Seeing things that I may never see again. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Hello everyone and welcome back to The Top Vloggers. As always, I am your host, Hi and Mighty Joe, hanging out with... Your co-host, the lovely cat. And as you can see, we have Aaron here today. The lovely cat and Aaron are going to go to your shoot job, is that correct? Yes. So it is apparently uh, bring your young kid to work day. Uh, Aaron did not want to go with me. Uh, we have a fun and exciting vlog planned for you today. Uh, are you into toys like I am? If you are, and then this vlog is for you. Let's get going. And the lovely cat went to the Walmart uh, yesterday and she picked up some donuts. These are one of Aaron's favorites. He's going to eat this up for breakfast. And he is excited. Ain't that right, son? <laughs> well, here we are at the Rogue Toy Fair and Swap Meet. Uh, this should be fun and exciting. Okay, well, we are at our first table, and as you can see, they have some loose figures uh, here in this tote. And they have a tote down here with some loose figures. And they also have some loose figures out on this table. As you can see, there is the Ghostbusters car. Let's go ahead and go to the next table over here. As you can see, they have some Star Wars merchandise. I am not a huge Star Wars fan, but I do like it. And they got more Star Wars memorabilia and toys over here. They also have some pop figures. Oh look, there's a Roman Reigns elite figure with the U.S. Championship. Let's see if we can take a closer look at that. Roman Reigns elite U.S. title. That might be something to get. I don't know. We'll definitely have to uh, think about it. And I'd say the box is about a seven out of ten, so not a, not great on the box, but not not completely uh, unrealistic. So yeah, we will definitely uh, have to come back here. Let's go ahead and move on to the next unit and see what they have over here. Looks like they have some T-shirts and knives and. Coins and I guess you would call them like tokens. They have uh, some Star Wars stuff over here. Nice to see that Jurassic Park piece right here. Oh, look at those bottles! Aren't those gorgeous? I wonder how much these bottles are. We got some figurines over here. Looks like he's putting out some prototypes right now. Yeah, definitely uh, lots of uh, cool things here at this booth. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Well, as we move on to the next booth, we are going to take a look. As you can see, they have a G.I. Joe and a giant pop figure here. Let's see if we can take a look around on this side. Yeah, nothing. I, I tell you, oh now there, that's really cool. T-1000 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Part 2. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that is really cool. I bet these are expensive. And there's the turtle van. Oh, yeah. They got a lot of cool things here at this table. I bet they're expensive. Gonna move on over here to this next table. As you can see, they have a ton of pop figures here. They have a Chucky, a Magic Johnson. They have uh, Marty McFly in his jacket. They have all kinds. They have a Yoda. Looks like they have a, a Michael Myers. They have, they have Jason Voorhees. There, there's tons of them over here. I, I so many, so many pop figures that I, I could not even sit here and list them all to you. There are tons of these. Now I don't. I think we may have a couple of pop figures, one or two around here, uh, if if we still have them. Um, I never, I never really got into them. I, I would like to get into them, but now there are there are so many it would take me forever to collect them. I do like these giant ones that they have back here. That Mickey Mouse one, Sorcerer Mickey. I like that. Oh, and there's a Stan Lee action figure. I bet that's real expensive as well. Yeah, tons of tons of things here at this booth. That is for sure. I mean, Superman. They have. I mean, they literally have everything. Of course, we've been to the home of the creators of Superman. Uh, don't forget to check out that vlog uh, in our uh, catalog of, of vlogs. Eight Mile right there. Yeah, they, they, they make these figures so fast and they make the, so many of them. I'm just not sure that you could collect them all. I would like to know who has a collection of all of them. Uh, that would definitely be something to see. And as you can see, he's got a Deadpool down here. And they have some cool Godzilla stuff as well. We're gonna go ahead and move around over here. It looks like these guys are still setting up possibly. We'll come back to them. See what they have. Go over here and check out these. This table. This is pretty cool. They got some hats. I like those hats. I like that Mario hat. That's really cool. That red one, that is really cool. I like that. They have so many different things here. They have some necklaces, it looks like. Some stickers. Bandanas. Bandanas are only $3 or two for five. We'll move on to the next table. Well, here you can see this one's got games. Uh, board games and it's got Xbox games, it's got PS3 games, PS4 games, I got some bobbleheads, there's a Barbie, Walt Disney Barbie, down here they got some movies, so yeah we're going to go ahead and move on I believe to the next booth. We'll see what they have over here. Some Star Wars merch. Yeah, definitely a lot of Star Wars merch out there these days uh, with uh, the Mandalorian and all of the different things coming that they have um, and the new movies that they've just recently put out. Lots of Star Wars. They got a Monopoly game here. Looks like a possible Star Wars Monopoly game. Just got all kinds of things here. It is remarkable to see that. Oh, there you go. There's the, the Bat Cycle. Yeah, there's a, and then the old school Batmobile. Yeah, lots of cool things. So we'll go over here and see what they have in uh, this section over here. A 
getting more Star Wars merch. And then, of course, and as you can see, you know, they have other things, too. Um, I just point out the things that, you know, that I would be more interested in. Now, that's a really cool Yoda. I like that. But yeah, it's just it's just like a regular swap meet Madden figures. Yeah, there's all kinds of things out here. So you know, if, if you, any kind of uh, collectible figure you could probably find out here um, at one of these tables, Monopoly, Game of Thrones. There's the Dukes of Hazard, General Lee. There's a Ben Roethlisberger, Madden 17. Oh, Cat would love that. She does not have a Ben Roethlisberger uh, action figure. Uh, of course, uh, if you guys don't know, Cat is a huge Pittsburgh Steelers fan. So lots of things uh, here at this uh, at this booth. And it looks like uh, they have more action figures, of course, as always. Uh, you can see the Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon with his chopper, and it looks like it also may come with his crossbow. There's the Incredible Hulk. They got comics here as well. Uh, I do have a few comics. Um, I'll make sure those to you in a later video. Um, but yeah, it looks like they got baseball cards here. And more pop figures over here. And over here at this booth, they have some art. It is really cool and I have to admit, I, I definitely like it. I'm sure they have other things. We're gonna go ahead and sneak around here. See, see what they have on this side. Looks like they have a Undertaker in the box and some other figures. There's Stargate. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next booth. And they got some Superman stuff over here. Well, uh, either I'm looking at this table upside down or they put their uh, stuff the opposite way. So I'm not, I wouldn't, I would have thought that I would have been on the right side, but apparently I was wrong. So let's go ahead and walk around over here. See if we can look and see what they have on this side. There we go. And some things down there loose in the tote. Spice Girls. Uh, Sasquatch. They have all kinds of different things here. I cannot believe the amount of things. Spell My Finger Game by Jay and Silent Bob. That is really cool. Um, I am definitely a huge Kevin Smith fan. Uh, I love Comic Book Men, which is just absolutely wonderful. And uh, yeah, I think I just like to put that out there. Kevin Smith is a great guy. I ran into him once, and uh, when I was doing some uh, exercising out in LA, and uh, he, uh, he stopped there and talked to me for about 10, 15 minutes, and it was it was a great talk. So, uh, yeah, great guy, Kevin Smith. And more pop figures over here. They The pop figures just keep on popping. There they are. They are everywhere. So, yeah, we're going to move ahead and go on to this next booth over here and see what they got. And yeah, they got some stuff, some wallets, things like that. 
Yeah. I have to admit, stuff that I'm... Some Star Wars stuff. Stuff that I'm not extremely interested in, I will admit that. But, you know, all of these things, all of these Star Wars figures, they, they will all be worth something one day. Uh, and some of them will be worth a lot more than others. So, if you ever happen to be into collecting figures, uh, and you like Star Wars, I, I would highly recommend that you start now. Because there's a lot of figures already, and I guarantee you there's more to come. And so there is a... There's a bus. They got all kinds of cool... Look at that cat truck. Yeah, that's cool. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, so they, they got all kinds of cool things here at this booth as well. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next booth here. You can see a bunch of Lucy's. Who's Lucy? <laughs> that's that's why Aaron says every time we say Lucy, he goes, he say, he goes uh, who's Lucy? Uh, he got that from the major wrestling figure podcast that I listen to uh, with hosts Brian Myers and Matt Cardona. Uh, they are they are wonderful. And uh, they've got figures out as well if you would like to get those figures. I believe that you might be able to buy them at ringsidecollectibles.com if you want to um, if you want to get that. And you can use the code MAJOR, I believe, and save 10% as well. So, yeah, we're gonna move on here. It looks like they got some Legos, Lego boxes. Legos are really cool. Uh, I had a lot of Legos when I was a kid. But we're gonna move on to this next booth, and as you can see, they, this guy has some, uh, Turtle pieces down here from the original game. And he has some turtle comics. And he has some uh, these other comics up here. So, yeah, this guy has a lot of things in his booth. Aliens, that's really cool. Batman. Turtles, yeah. So a lot of, a lot of cool things here at that booth. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. I love, I love, I have to admit, I love that Turtles one right there. That is a great one. Well, we're going to go ahead and move over here to the next booth. See what they have. Seems like they have more games. Warlock. Smurfs. A Smurfs game? That's kind of cool. Monopoly down here again, and more games. So, yeah, tons of games over here. That seems to be pretty much what they're offering. Over here at this booth, they seem to be offering a lot of Pops figures. Looks like they may have also some t-shirts and uh, some art. Go ahead and move over here to the next table. Instead of checking the next booth, I wanted to go ahead and just show you a little bit of the inside of Rogue Toys that's right over here on Eastern Avenue. So if you ever have a chance to uh, be here in Las Vegas and you want to look around for some action figures, uh, this is definitely the place to, to, uh, to go. Uh, they have a lot of pop figures, a lot of them. So if you're uh, wanting a, a specific pop figure, they very well may have it here. Uh, look at all the cool art that they have up here. Pickle Rig, Buffy, Wayne's World, Stranger Things. Yeah, it's just a, a, a really cool place. So like I said, they have all kinds of cool things. They have horror, uh, icon, uh, action figures. They have Power Ranger, they have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they have Hot Wheels. 
As you can see right here, they have a Casey Jones replica mask. That is pretty cool. I have to admit, I like that. So you got all kinds of different things that you can do and see and uh, experience right here at Las Vegas. While you're in Las Vegas, I should say. Uh, if you are into action figures, this toy store has a ton of different uh, things, like I said. And you can't go wrong. They have Star Trek toys. They have so many different things. And it's a pretty big size store, I would have to say. They got decoff cabinets here. You can see they got Halloween, Halloween 2 figures, uh, original It figures, It figures from the new movie. Uh, they have Gremlins, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street figures. So, yeah, all kinds of different figures uh, that you could get here. As you can see right here, they have El this Elvis figure, which I may end up having to get one day. I am a big Elvis fan, so yeah, that, like I said, they have all kinds of figures, and I cannot, this, I guess this would be, well, if I had a big old mansion, I would have one, I would have to have one whole room that would have nothing but figures in it, because I love figures that much, uh, but of course, as you guys know, my heart and soul uh, really goes out to the wrestling figures. Um, I spent so long being a wrestling fan and then becoming a professional wrestler. Um, speaking of wrestling figures, they have some Lucy's down here. Go ahead and check those out. Yeah, so they, they like I said, definitely if you want to, uh, get a figure, this would be the place to come and get them. Okay, now this is a, a little building that they have off to the side of, and this is where they have, they're holding vendors, and uh, these people are selling uh, Rice Krispie Treats. As you can see, they have different uh, flavors of Rice Krispie Treats. Uh, I did try one. The fruity one is the one I tried and I have to admit it was really good. I think Kat would like the cookies and cream. Um, but yeah, the, you can come in here. Uh, as you can see, this guy is selling mugs uh, like you would uh, pour beer into and uh, little uh, things to uh, put your plants in. I guess you can call that a lot. Uh, right here they have that Breaking Bad, Gustavo Frame Puzzle, they have some loose action figures, Leisure Rules, they have a Fer Ferris Wheeler poster behind, this Scar Stuff face, that's really cool. I have to admit I love the, the car and then it comes with a little bit of the action figure as well. These people right over here are selling t-shirts, it looks like. This place has some Pops figures. Uh, some more Icon figures. And uh, they also have some of the tradable pins that you uh, can trade at Disney. They have uh, quite a few of those tradable pins out here. So if you happen to be in the market for more tradable pins, um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe you take them and you go to Disney and uh, for every pin you trade, you get a pin, I guess is how that works. Uh, hence the reason it's called pin trading. So yeah, and then of course these people right over here, they have a ton of pops figures as well and uh, like I said this place uh, it's fairly large so um, this place over here has jewelry it looks like so and some very beautiful jewelry if I do say so myself she said she makes this jewelry I asked her she said she makes this jewelry and uh, it's 
like I said, very, very pretty. But we're going to continue on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip that booth. I think it's pretty much soaps and stuff like that. If you would be into that kind of thing, um, they would definitely have the soaps for you. Looks like this place has some action figures. Walking Dead. That Walking Dead thing is pretty cool. Caddyshack. More Walking Dead. Yeah, so lots of uh, cool different things. They got jewelry. Sons of Anarchy figures. Looks like they got a Magic 8 Ball. So. Yeah, lots of cool other things. Uh, as you can see, they have these little uh, rooms to the side right here. I'm uh, going to peek my head in there, and it looks like they have nothing but pop figures in there, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this is definitely a cool place to go, and uh, I would recommend uh, that you uh, check out all of these uh, cool little uh, independent vendors uh, who have things to sell, because... This is the way they make their money. Well, that was really nice to see that, you know, they have face painting here free for the kids as well uh, now of course right over here you can see that they have a bunch of uh, Vegas Golden Knights uh, merchandise and uh, some Raiders merchandise as well but yeah all in all definitely uh, I would say a fun and fantastic day um, and lots of lot, like I said lots of things that they had here uh, they did have a few action figures that I would be interested in. Uh, I think I may go around and uh, see what they have and see if I can get one. Well, I ended up getting the Roman Reigns. I think that's going to do it for us here today. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. You can take it one step further and ring that notification bell. It'll keep you up to date on all the future adventures that we will be going on on our channel. I had a great time at this toy fair. It was a lot bigger than I uh, than I definitely thought it was going to be. Until next time, for me and the head of the table, top vloggers.